AG fans, GojiFan93 here, and I'm here to continue my let's play of Save the Earth. We are now playing as Megagirus, sadly, because he's probably my most least favorite character in this game, besides uh, probably Mothra. Because, I don't know, the thing I have, the problem I have with uh, the flying monsters in this game, like the only, like, you know, Mothra's the only, like, Okay, I mean, like, like King Ghidorah can fly, but I mean, like, King Ghidorah's also, you know, he can also walk and whatever, stuff like that. But it's like, it's just, I'm not into the flying monsters as much. I don't know, I just, I really don't care for, for that, T to play as them, you know. I mean, Mega Gears was a good enemy, you know, in the movie, but to play as him, it's, it's not as fun, even though he just kicked the fuck out of Rodan right there. But that's Rodan, so. But, uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, Mega Gears, uh, Mothra, and uh, you know even Batra from Unleashed on the PS2. I, I just I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you that <laughs> Mega Gears on the Wii is worse, uh, way worse actually. I fucking hate playing Mega Gears. Uh, damn it, as uh, on the Wii because it's just terrible. Like, there are some characters that the controls are alright with, uh, but with Mega Gears and Mothra, like, they, they suck so hard with the controls. Yeah, it's just terrible. Yeah, you guys will probably be hearing me complain a lot when I play say, when I play Unleashed. Uh, it, it'll be like... <laughs> it, the thing is... <coughs> like, I was excited. You know, I followed that game... Uh, you know, and I'll probably be saying this story when I play the game, but, you know, like, I, I followed the game a lot when it was first announced. Like, it was, like, a year in advance. It was, like, 2006 when I figured it out. And, you know, I, I had so much expectations. I was like, oh, my God, this game's going to be amazing, you know, especially after Save the Earth, you know. Um, and then when I played it for the first time, you know, I was like, this is awesome. But then I took my Godzilla beer goggles off, and I looked at the game as a game itself. And it just does not hold up. It's terrible. Like, it, it, it's not... <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst Godzilla game, that's for sure. It's really not. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I just... I don't know. I just wished that that game was a little bit more polished. Uh, that's all. So, that's really it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be, you know, I mean, there are good things about a leash. Don't get me wrong. It's not like the game is 100% bad. It, it's just not, it's my least favorite out of the Atari trilogy. And the fact that the PS2 version is my favorite over the Wii version just for the fact that the controls. Like, that's how much controls matter to me in a video game rather than graphics or you know, <laughs> the amount of monsters, or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Now, that is to say, though, I'm a little bit pissed off of the of the PS2 version that they're... Uh, uh, th th this will sound con or, uh, contradicting of what I just said, but, you know, I am a little bit sad how the PS2 version didn't add any new monsters except for uh, Mega Ge or uh, Batra and uh, Obsidian. Uh, or Obsidious. I keep on forgetting how, how it's, if it's Obsidian or Obsidious, but, uh... Like, they, you know, why could they put in Crystalac or why could they put in uh, Biolante? Because, like, with Biolante, it would make sense that they'd be able to put him in the PS2 because, uh, <coughs> because we all know that in Save the Earth, there are those fo those files that have Biolante in it. So all they could have, all they needed to do was just grab those files and put him into the PS2 version. It makes no sense. They could have finished him, really. You know, he, he could have been, he could have been the finished Pro version of what Save the Earth was supposed to be, uh, or at least what Biolante was supposed to be in the game. Uh, but that's just like my thing on it. Uh, let's see uh, why Mechagodzilla One could be in it. I I don't know why. Actually, I don't know why most of the monsters did get into the PS2 version. I really don't understand, and I really don't understand how the Wii version has so many monsters in it, yet Batra wasn't be wasn't able to be in the Wii version. Like, why not? Just give him, just make him the same framework as Mothra, but give him different animations. Like, you know, Godzilla 90s and Godzilla 2000. 
you know, it's it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, I. I mean, I'm not a professional game designer, but I, I, I don't see how it could be that hard if you're a professional, you know, if, if you know how to <coughs> do the stuff. I, I I don't know, but there's just a lot of things that I wish that that game did better, and it just it just makes me sad how that's how that's the latest Godzilla game we have, and it's it's not the best, you know? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, goodness sakes. I really don't want to sneeze in the mic, because that'll just be terrible. Uh. Oh goodness. Uh, but um you know what I will say is that like Godzilla 2000 in Unleashed he controls well. Like that's the thing. Like like Godzilla 2000, Godzilla 90s, Kiryu, Mecha Godzilla 1 and 2. Uh let's see. I King Ghidorah, like they they control all right. Uh, oh, this is the wrong challenge for Mega Gears, seriously. But uh, yeah, they, like you know, they control well. But the monsters that just control terribly would be like Mega Gears, Mothra. Uh, I think Varen isn't really that good either. But see, that's another thing too. Why wasn't Varen also in the PS2 version? Give him, give him the same framework as uh, I guess Baragon, because they, you know, they kind of have the same kind of like. I don't know, they could be on four they could be on all fours and I don't know, whatever, but Or like King Caesar also. Like why wasn't he in it in the PS2? It doesn't make any sense, you know. There's there's just a lot of monsters that I don't understand that why they could not be in the PS2 version. But to me I, I really honestly think that the PS2 version of Unleashed was an afterthought to the developers. Um, I think what they did is they were focused, they wanted to make the Godzilla game on the Wii. That's pretty much what their goal was. Like, all they wanted to do was be like, okay, you know, we're going to make this Godzilla game for the Wii. Like, that that's what we're going to do. And, I don't know, someone decided, you know, okay, well, you know, what about the people who played Save the Earth on PS2? Like, what are we going to do about the PS2 people? And I guess they decided, oh, just make a shitty port, I guess, or whatever. Um... And the Xbox got left out of the dust terribly because, well, probably one because um, the Xbox was dead in 2007. So the original Xbox, that's probably why there wasn't a port for the for at least on the original Xbox because it was dead, um, and because uh, the 360 was out, but the game was not, the game could not run for the 360. Probably that's probably why the Xbox didn't have anything. Uh, for Unleashed. So, <coughs> yeah, that's that's my thought on it. <coughs> but, um, yeah, it just kind of sucks. I don't know. Just a lot that I wanted that game to be, and it didn't. But it's not that it, I I won't say though that I didn't have I, that that I do not have good memories with it. I I did enjoy playing it, you know. And I'll find some enjoyment when I do do a Let's Play of it, you know, but you'll probably be hearing me complain a lot about things that bug the shit out of me about it. But, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it won't be a rage quit, that's for sure, because I can at least beat that game, too. It's not that bad. Ooh, that was a good finisher right there. Yeah, I mean, at least Mega Gears controls well in this game. I, you know, I don't like playing as him, but he does control well. So that that's, you know, uh, it's I don't, it's weird. I'm a very picky gamer, I guess. So even when it comes to Godzilla, like, like, like that's the thing. What I had to say to myself was, okay, let's take off the Godzilla beer goggles, and you know, uh see this game as a real game and like and when I look at you know destroy all monsters and save the earth I not only do I see an awesome Godzilla game but I see just a good game in general you know uh, but at least it's you know it's just one of those third-party Wii titles that kind of sucks so <coughs> this is why every game needs to have time and patience so that it could be perfect. You know, because no one expected Destroy All Monsters to come out. And that's why it was so good. Because Simon Strange and the team had time to work on it. You know, there wasn't any time constraints. And with Save the Earth, they already had the framework down for it. So, pretty much, 
uh, you know, th they just had to kind of add on top of it, um, you know, and it did come out in a year span. Well, I, well, no, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters came out in 2002, the Xbox version came out in 2003, and then Save the Earth came out in 2004. But still, you know, I mean, they had it down, and then it was a little, and it's weird because there was a little bit of a break for Unleashed. Yet, what we got seemed like a very rushed out version, which it was rushed, but I'm not blaming Simon Strange or, you know, or the team behind it. I blame Atari because they're the publishers and it's always the publishers that rush games out. They're the ones who go to the studio, the developers, the ones who are actually making the game, and they go to them and say, hey, you guys have to finish this game, like, right away. Like, you gotta get it done. <clears throat> and even if the developers say, look, we, we don't have enough done or we want to do more with it to make it even better, the publishers don't give a shit. And what's really sad is that, you know, Atari should know, well, they should have known, that, you know, with Godzilla, with a license like that, you have to make it, like, you have to have patience. You have to have a team that's willing to really do good on it because, you know, and Atari should have seen that with, uh, you know, the fact that they did so well with Destroy All Monsters and Save the Earth. Those two games made Godzilla fans very happy. And yet, you know, <coughs> yet Atari is rushing out Unleashed. And if the team is saying, look, we, gotta, we still have to make some more stuff on this to make it better. You know, I don't know. It's just very, very, very weird. But I know that there's a lot of you out there that actually Unleashed is your favorite game. And I, I mean, you know, I can understand that. <coughs> but you probably are, like, it's, it's, I've noticed that it's like young generation. Like the, like, youngsters, you know, the, the, the young viewers out there. Like, because if, if you're my age, you know, you grew up with N64 and then, you know, like, when the, when the original Xbox came out, it was one of the best consoles. And then we got Destroy All Monsters and Save the Earth, you know. And the fact that Destroy All Monsters was my first game, or my first Godzilla game I ever played, you know, there could be some bias. So I can understand why a lot of you say Unleashed could be your favorite game, because if that was your first game. Because a lot of you, like, for the young, uh, for the young people, the, the Nintendo Wii was the first console they owned. And uh, I could see how Unleashed would be the first Godzilla game because that was the only Godzilla game on the Wii. So uh, I can understand how you could be, you know, say that, you know, because it's, it's, it's mostly biased, though. You know, clearly, Save the Earth is a more advanced game than Destroy All Monsters. It's just fact. Like, <coughs> like <coughs> when I'm looking at it non-biased, in a non-biased way, <coughs> Save the... <coughs> damn it. Save the Earth is a way more advanced game than Destroy All Monsters. You know, that that's that's the fact of it, you know. And I and I love Destroy All Monsters and it's my favorite game, yet I know what is more advanced and what's not. And sadly, Unleashed is actually a downgrade of Save the Earth. You know, I mean I, I don't want I know a lot of people are gonna get mad at me for that, but it really is. It's a downgrade. Because of how much it was rushed and chopped up and, and just, you know... I mean, just think about it. If it had more time, that story mode would have been so much more epic. Because, do you guys remember watching the like the developer trailers for that? Like, when Simon Strange was talking about the environments of it. Or, you know, when one of the developers were talking about, you know... Oh, yeah, you'd be in this world and, like, walking around as Godzilla. And you could help your, your friends out. You know, like, King Ghidorah would drop down at any time or whatever. And it would... Like, all these promises of really awesome, like, encounters. Random encounters. Which are what I've been talking about. Which is what the next Godzilla game should have. And <coughs> we got none of that. You know, I mean, yeah, we got a story where you could sort of decide what to do, but it ultimately led to the same ending. I mean, it really didn't have any, there wasn't, like, any consequences for what ch uh, choices you made in the game. <coughs> you know, I think that's where the uh, uh, potential for that game dropped tremendously, especially after the developers promised really awesome ideas. And I don't. Uh, once again, I don't blame the. Uh, I don't blame the developers. It was Atari. They rushed. They rushed the game. 
and it's and it's uh, you know their fault, and I think Simon, Simon Strange is pretty pissed about that. So yeah, but that's my spin on it. Whew. I could make a discussion video about it, really. Uh, but so yeah, <laughs> you know, and and, and uh, same thing could go for like Final Wars, like the movie. Uh, in a in a realistic term, without me being biased, because it's it's one of my favorite Godzilla movies. Oh, really? This fucking challenge, <laughs> as Mega Gears, <laughs> this is gonna be a bitch. But uh, Final Wars, if you think about it, it might actually well be a downfall of for the last Godzilla film. You know, uh, I know a lot of older gener like Richard Iso. I know that he doesn't like Final Wars, and I can respect him for that. Because I see that. I understand why. He brings up good arguments. He's not like, he's not just a hater that says, oh, it's stupid just because. You know, like, no, he actually brings really good uh, arguments as to why Final Wars does not work as a Godzilla film. Uh, so, wow, I flipped him out of the area. That was terrible. Uh, oh, shit. This is really hard, actually. Fuck. Uh,. So yeah, you know, I I respect Richard Iso for the for his opinions on Final Wars. So that's why I don't get mad at him for that. Like I'm like, all right, yeah, it, that's cool. Uh, you know, but on the other side, like I love Final Wars, for you know, the reasons that I have. Uh, oh please make it, please make it, please make it, please make it. Yes, I actually made it. Wow. <coughs> <coughs> but <coughs> so yeah, but uh, but with Final Wars, when I look at it. As a from a non-biased standpoint, I definitely see how it fails miserably as a Godzilla film. I I can see I see it, and I love the film, but I'm not blind. I could I see it like I know like yes I I understand how it could how it fails actually, uh, you know yeah too much characters, or like too too many too many characters, short monster fights. It's too focused on humans, and Godzilla is like a side thing to it. I, I see that. I totally get it. Uh, but when I look at it bias-wise, or when I look at it as just one of my favorite films, you know, I'll, I'll, I could bring up that, you know, well, you know, I like... If, if a Godzilla film could pull off the humans really well, then I like it because I have more of... Damn it, Mega Gears, you're so fucking slow. <coughs> I'm trying to grab Mega Godzilla here, but it's, like, not working because Mega Gears... He drops them so quickly. Alright. I'll just grab him in here, baby. Shit. God, he's not making this easy. But anyways. Uh, so, yeah. I can look at it from that. You know. But uh, it's it, it's all about understanding. Like, you know. Yes, if you, yes, you like it. But understand its weakness. Like, understand why it, it actually doesn't do well. Is it over here? Where's the island? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So, you know, uh, it's it's like if uh, Call of Duty fans, okay, Call of Duty's been getting a lot of hate lately because, well, it's pretty much the same fucking game every year. But yet, there's still a huge fan base for that. And the thing is, is I'm not gonna get mad. Well, I'm not gonna hate someone. I'm not gonna wish they were gonna that they die. Where are you going, Gigan? Seriously? What are you doing, Gigan? Wait, is he like? Is he focused on Mega Godzilla right now? What are you doing? I need you to go follow me. Alright, I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought because... Because... Gigan's being stupid. What are you doing? Gigan, I'm over here. You go... Oh, no, not... Ah, back there. God. Gigan... Okay, follow me. Come on. Seriously, please. <sighs> okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like you know, I'm not gonna wish the Call of Duty fan base would die. I mean, it, it's all right. Now you, there are a lot of people in that fan base that are very ignorant. I'm not afraid to say that they're fanboy. I mean, the fanboys pretty much. The, oh damn it, Mega Elon went out of his thing. That's why I didn't win. I thought I was like, I was like, why did it not end? Let's hope I could get Mega Elon back in there before Mega Godzilla runs out. Or I might not win this challenge, just because it's difficult as Mega Gears. 
De fucking hell. Come on, I gotta get you in. Fuck. I cannot grab him. Fuck, and Mechagodzilla's out. Thanks, Megalon, you fucked me up. Alright. <clears throat> but, the thing with Call of Duty, with the smart Call of Duty fans, the fans who are actually fans, who are passionate about it, they will tell you that, yes, Call of Duty is becoming a little bit stale. You know, but, they always have hope that the next... Fuck, I failed it, just because of Gigan, because of he's being a dumbass. Anyways, but... The Call of Duty fans will say, yes, it is a little bit stale, but they always have hope for the next game that it that they'll actually innovate on it. Uh, and that's what we always do as Godzilla fans. We always say, okay, the next movie, hopefully it'll do better, or the next video game, hopefully it'll do better. You know, we'll buy it because we're fans. And that's why Call of Duty makes a lot of money every year is because there are those fans who are devoted who are saying, well, I'm, I'm going to support the developers because I'm a fan of it. And that's perfectly fine. I, you know, but... They have to, <laughs> they have to understand they're buying the same game every year, so, uh, you know, and the same thing for Godzilla fans actually, uh, you know, if you kind of think about it, uh, with the High Sci series, there was a Godzilla movie every year, and even though every story kind of had its own little thing to it, Godz it, Godzilla's pretty much the same story if you think about it. You know, it's like. A bit two monsters. They go. They fight each other, and then you know Godzilla gets hurt at the beginning. Godzilla starts to you know he start he loses at the beginning, and then he then he finds the power to win. You know that you know it's it's a kind of rinse repeat kind of thing with it. That's why I like the Godzilla films that really changed it up, which are like GMK or you know uh, I wouldn't really say 1984 changed it up. It was more of, it was a reboot, so that that doesn't really count. <coughs> but GMK. Uh, you know, and I think that's why I liked Final Wars so much because it was so different. It was, it was, it was so different, but yet it it felt like a Godzilla film, but it was, you know, just so different. And that's why a lot of people didn't like it. Which, once again, I can understand why the film, you know, why it pissed a lot of Godzilla fans off. Um, you know, it's perfectly fine. So, so yeah, uh, that's my little wow, wow. I went from talking about Unleashed to the movies to Call of Duty in one video. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Goodness sakes. It's because I'm so bored as playing as Mega Gears, that's why. <laughs> I, I think I think I get it. When I st when I start talking about stuff, it's because I'm getting a little bit bored in the game as playing as whoever I played as. But if I'm like really into the game, it's because I like playing as that monster. <coughs> Shit, Mecha Godzilla. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm done talking about that because I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for what I just said anyway, so. Uh, I just says it as I see it. <coughs> so. And that guy who I was mentioning earlier, Richard Iso, go subscribe to him. He's amazing. He's a huge Godzilla collector. He has a huge collection. He's like, I, he's like the... I guess I would say like professional collector because he just he has so many figures so he's really cool and uh, actually another thing I would say sadly I was watching a live stream of him one time and uh, sadly he doesn't like Bandai creation figures because to him they're not real Godzilla figures kind of makes me a little bit sad you know because it's like I consider my collection of Bandai creation very collectible and, and highly you know I, I highly uh, have uh, I have pride in that having those figures uh, but he's he's very you know it has to be from Japan like you have to get the figure from Japan I can I can understand that once again but you know still uh, to me any Godzilla figure like any Godzilla piece of merchandise is a collectible to me like if there's a Godzilla keychain or like uh, even a freaking Godzilla toothbrush, all right? I will want it, and I will say, like, yeah, that's part of my collection. Anything that says Godzilla. And I'm not afraid to say anything that's Zilla. Godzilla 1980, uh, 1980, or er, 1998. I'm not afraid to say that, yes, I have a couple items that were from that, you know, from that movie, and if I saw 
a, a Zilla figure on sale, yeah, I would get it. And I would put it as part of my Godzilla collection. Because you can't say that, oh, well, it's not Godzilla, so therefore you can't put it... Well, Mothra's not Godzilla, but I have Mothra in my collection. Pacific Rim's not Godzilla, but I have Pacific Rim in my collection. Anything that's Kaiju, really. <laughs> like, it's actually... I owe it all to you guys, because, you know, you guys have shown me a lot of different Kaiju stuff, and, uh... I've now turned my Godzilla collection more into a Japanese kaiju genre collection. It's it's it is it's obviously majority Godzilla wise because that that will always be my my favorite. But you know I am expanding it and, and making it better. So yay, we're done with Mega Garrus. Oh god, this is a very wordy episode. I'm sorry about that, guys. But I know some of you like me talking about stuff like that. All right, let's unlock a new block. And hey, that rhymed. Let's unlock a new block. Ha ha ha. Okay. All right. Here we go. Boom. Oh, so we won't be playing as Organ next because we will uh, keep him for uh, har the last episode. All right. <clears throat> so that is it for uh this episode hope you guys enjoyed uh since there was a lot of since there was a lot of opinion talking to this episode please leave in the comments below what you guys think of what i was talking about i would love to read it and uh as always stay big g fans